Hi, I'm Construction Gamer, and this is a quick Transport Fever 2 tutorial on how to use the Transport Fever 1 to Transport Fever 2 mod converter, which is available on uh, what is it, transportfever.net. There will be a link to that in the description below. Um, but yeah, a couple of people have asked me for this, so I'm going to do one, and hopefully, I will explain it as clearly as I can. The first thing we want is we want our Transport Fever 1 mod. So whatever you've subscribed to in Transport Fever 1, they should, usually you'll have a list of them because you'll be subscribed to quite a few, but yeah, that is in the address uh, Steam, Steam Apps, Workshop Content, 446800. Again, I will just put this address down below just in case you can't see that very clearly so I've only got one mod because I've completely cleared out all my mods from Transport Fever 1 just um, just for simplicity uh, more than anything but I've got my mod here which is a class 313 which I want to convert over to Transport Fever 2 uh, I'm not sure if it is going to be eventually ported over in full so I need it fairly um, shortly for my Transport Fever UK Northwest series so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it because I just want to make sure I've still got the existing copy of the original in Transport Fever 1 and then what I'm going to do is head over to the mod section of the Transport Fever 2 and I'm going to paste it in there like so. Now this one is separate from the Transport Fever 2 Steam Workshop mods folder. This is the the actual Steam Common Transport Fever 2 mods. So this is where the Steam um, Urban Games produced ones come in here, basically. And the game, the game standard mods, yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put it in there, and I've already got the mod converter there. You can see it uh, says Eat 1963 underscore TPF2 converter underscore zero. That's the file you should have. Now I've already converted the one class 101, a couple of people have seen that already. I've converted it twice just to be sure I've got the uh, the system down and I think I have. First thing you want to, going to do is rename the file. I'm not sure if it's essential that you need to rename it uh, from the number but I'm going to rename it anyway. Making sure there's no space, it's got to be an underscore. So if you say there class, th class 313 make sure there's an underscore underscore rather than a space so you can see that there like that and now what next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the converter in a new page there I'm going to click on class 313 and then the mod LUA file click on that and then rename it so I'm going to rename it mod X dot LUA and that is in the actual mod. So the class 313 mod that I'm converting, the mod LUA, that is in the mod file. Just rename that to mod X or whatever. I don't think it really matters what you name it to. And then I'm going to go into the actual converter. So this is the converter mod now. You will see a folder called for users. Click on that and there is a mod LUA in there. You want to copy. Don't drag and put it into the folder because if it's on the same drive you will copy the file over and you need to make sure you've still got a copy of this if you want to be converting multiple mods so in the uh, class 313 mod now and we're going to paste that and you can see now why you've got to rename that mod x lua file because you're going to be copying in another one so just to clarify you go on the converter folder for users mod LUA copy that into the mod that you want to convert and then we want to go into transport fever 2 so we're going to do that now okie dokie once we're in the transport fever 2 home screen what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, free game now it doesn't really matter too much uh, about the map at this stage or anything but I'm just going to click on play map just so it brings up all the options that we need so we're going to just we'll hover over that map there, test map, and what we want to do is go to show options. This is a new option since the update which just dropped this week. So um, to add and remove mods, we go show options. Then we're going to disable all. And then what we want to do is we want to scroll down until we find something that looks a bit like this. So we've got TPF to TPF2 mod converter. 0.17 which is the latest build that I'm using what we want to do is we want to enable that first so 
the TPF TPF2 mod converter enable that first like so and then underneath it there would have been TPF1 TPF2 user mod LUA and 313 which is obviously the vehicle that we want to convert so what you want to do is just quickly click on that like so and it will appear as if the system has crashed or has hung up and you'll get a loading icon there and then what should happen is the game should minimize you probably won't see that because I've got game capture on but the game should minimize we're going to maximize the game again and if we scroll right up to the top hopefully if you've done everything correctly as I've described then you will get both of these enabled next thing you want to do I think it is important that this is done in order so the tpf1 tpf2 user mod .lua, and then the train name you want to deactivate that or disable that first and then the converter itself disable that second like so now what we're going to do is we're going to exit the game and we're going to go back to the file where the mods are right once we've exited the game we want to go back into the class 313 mod or whichever mod you are converting and then you want to go to the mod LUA that we copied over from the converter itself and then we're going to delete that so the mod LUA that we dragged over from the converter mod we're going to delete that and then the mod x.lua which we'd renamed previously we are going to rename back to just mod.lua so we delete the mod from the converter and then rename the mod the original mod lua back to just mod.lua like that so then we've done that and then hopefully if we load the game back up that mod should now be fully working okie dokie so we're back in the transport fever 2 home screen what we're going to do is going to play a map and I'm going to load my mob, 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 mod test map. I'm going to show all options. I'm going to disable all the mods and then just going to go to source because we need British Rail class 313 is there. Uh, we want no costs sandbox. I mean, this isn't important, but it just makes just makes testing a bit easier. All available from 1850. So yeah, there is the British Rail class 313 mod that we've had. Uh, and that is enabled and then if you go straight ahead and load the game up hopefully it should be working now I should reiterate do not share any of these mods that you've converted with anyone else unless you have the express mission of the mod, original mod creator I think it's just a courtesy more than anything else just keep them for your own private use unless you do have the express permission but like I said some of these mods are being converted over anyway so I think some of the mod creators would prefer them not to be shared some of the direct ports to be shared um, publicly so this should be loading any time now it has what I'm going to do is just going to quickly chuck in a bit of rail between these two places um, nothing fancy just chuck that in there. I mean, it doesn't need to be connected to anything really, just uh, prefer it to be. So, chuck that in there. Um, tracks, I want those to be electric. Yeah, just chuck that in, like so. Uh, we'll put a passing loop in as well because I'm just going to set two trains going just so you can see. With the 313 in particular, has the ability to color change so. Uh, yeah we need that so we put the signals in try and be as quick as I can um, where are you chuck that in there and then we'll get our depot in buildings depot no that's not uh, that's not joined to anything right get a line going otherwise the trains will not emerge And then we're going to buy a vehicle and then under multiple units electric hopefully we should have the British Rail class 313 I'm going to add one of them uh, buy that chuck that on the line unable to find pass path hmm tracks upgrade the stations are electrified let's oh no there's a little there was a little bit as well chuck that in there 
Right, try that again. So we're going to send that off on its way and then we're going to buy another vehicle. We're going to go back to that and then we're going to look at the colour change options. We're going to select that and put it in a Mersey Rail yellow there. Buy that. Send him on his way as well. I'm going to speed up the game. Now one of the reasons that the mod creators possibly do not want really to port the mods over directly is because they don't turn out 100%, especially with the new graphics of Transport Fever 2, which look a bit better. This 313, for instance, there is a little bit of an issue, I think, with the shadowing on the doors, which isn't a huge problem, but the mod creators probably want their mods to look the best. So that's possibly one of the reasons why they are being remodeled for Transport Fever 2. But if you're desperate for a Transport Fever 1 mod, then this is the, uh, the next best solution. So we've got that one there. Hopefully the uh, colour change one should be appearing anytime soon. I'm just going to have to wait for him to go into the, uh, the passing loop there. Once he's out of the way we should be able to see the colour change one. So the colour change all works fine with that. The doors, yeah, there's just a little bit of uh, shadowing going on there which isn't quite right. But I think for most general players it will be. Alright, so hopefully I've explained that as clearly as possible. You can see there it is all working as I've described it. The uh, the mod has come out correctly. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it there for today. And, um, leave you with a picture of this. We'll leave this running rather. And I'm going to say until next time, bye bye.